Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'll be showing you how to mine NeoScript Zaya on the 3 gigabyte GPU. Well, that's the algorithm that you guys will be mining with your 3 gigabyte and up graphics cards. The actual coin you'll be mining is Chai Coin, I believe it's pronounced, and it's a very profitable coin for 3 gigabyte graphics cards. I found, obviously, as well as 4 gigabyte and up, but that's pretty much a given nowadays. 4 gigabyte and up is pretty much your standard, but we're going to be focusing on the 3 gigabyte graphics cards here, the ASUS GTX 1060s, but I'll be showing you guys how to set it up and how to mine it, so you guys can hopefully have some profitable mining on your 3 gigabyte graphics cards. This tutorial will mainly be for like NVIDIA and Windows, like the video portion of it. I'll post a link in the description for any people that are using AMD, I'll post a link for uh, an AMD mining software that you can set this up on hopefully if I can find one. The reason I say if I find ones because so far even just for NVIDIA you can only mine this through CC Miner and it's only through a certain version of CC Miner but I'll post all that in the description below so you guys can have all that information obviously follow along with me here. So before we get into the actual tutorial portion of it I just want to show you what my 3 gigabyte 1060s are running and like the hash rate I'm getting. So right now, obviously, I have power limit set. So this is that one I've always mentioned before that I have a little trouble with. The power limit's down to 65. And then on the other one, for like the main board one, this one, power limit's at like 85. So I'm still trying to save power even though I can run them at full throttle if I want to. But why not try to save the graphics card a little bit? But we'll go over to the hash right here. We'll try to get a good focus. So as you see there, that's the kilohash I'm getting. But that converts over to mega hash because anything over a thousand kilo hash is one mega hash. So I get just like 1.1 mega hash alone just from these two 1060s. And it's a, you know, pretty good speed just for some older graphics cards. So it shows that the old GPUs, like the older ones at least, like the 1060, 3 gigabytes, can still push power to this algorithm and it still be fairly profitable. I'll pull up a screenshot of like the profits I've been getting lately in Zpool, that's the pool I've been using to mine this, and I've been converting it over to Litecoin, so I'll show you that. But then I also have my GTX 1650 running it, because I was running Kapow on it uh, for Ravencoin, but it was just running uh, too powerful, running too much heat. So I decided to change it also since it's still profitable as well. And it gets around 600 kilo hash, so it's pretty good for just a solo card. So if I had two of those, that would be another 1.2 mega hash. So you put in theory, it's a, you put in perspective, it's a pretty good like chunk of hash rate for this these lower end graphics cards. So it proves the algorithm is meant for these type of GPUs. So yeah, I'm not saying to go and like directly mine this coin and like build up a wallet for it. I'm just saying to mine it because it's profitable algorithm and it's a profitable, profitable coin to convert over to like Litecoin or Dogecoin or whatever main coin you want, even Bitcoin if you want, because like I said, it's pretty good conversion rate. Like I'll show you on Zpool the stats I showed you there, and as you see, I have like a four or five percent share rate, so it's converting over every two hours because that's when about a block is found at Zpool. But if we get more people, more blocks are found more often. So I'm getting like a good chunk of like the profit of it. So just imagine if you have like a full rig of like 1060 3 gigabytes or just any 3 gigabyte card, you could try this algorithm and see how much profit you could get. And you could also use some mining calculators. Mind you, they're hit or miss because it's not as big as a coin or algorithm as other ones. So just keep that in mind when you are using profit calculators. My best perspective I always find since the market's always up and down is to actually just throw the card on the algorithm for like, you know, four or five hours, six hours, even just a whole day and see what profits you get. I know sometimes people don't like doing that because electricity rate, but if you don't have programs like I've shown in the past where it's like miners where it runs through algorithms and shows you the profit, using mining like calculator websites is sometimes very hit or miss because there's a wide range of factors that come in play when the market price is getting affected. So therefore, you know, a coin for one second could be worth something crazy because they just got pumped up for that time being and then they get it gets brought down. That's why it's always good to find, you know, 
solid profitable algorithms i've been mining this algorithm for you know pretty much since the start of this year if not sooner i just been wanting to run it for a while to make sure it actually has been stable holding itself before i go and make a tutorial on it but sorry for my rambling let's get into the actual tutorial piece of this so now that we're over on the computer here i'm going to show you guys the software to download here and for nvidia and like the windows tutorial that I'm going by here we're just going to be using CC minor but it's not just any CC minor it's a certain like release of CC minor with the NeoScript Zaya um, algorithm added into it because the original one I believe doesn't have it so I'll post this link in the description below and then once you get over to this github here you want to come over to the releases tab on the right hand side and you just want to select releases and once you're here, you'll see it, the CC Miner with NeoScript Zaya patch. I believe I'm saying that right. Um, sorry if I butchered it. But yeah, once you're over here on the GitHub release page, you just want to download the CC Miner 64bit.exe. And like I said, it's just an alternate version of CC Miner that has the NeoScript Zaya added into it. It's not any different than the original CC Miner. It's just they added this algorithm into it, so no other code has really changed. So once you have it downloaded, your web browser may just like detect it as like a virus, but obviously it's not. It's just because it's an unpublished uh, software. So you just click keep dangerous file, keep anyway, and then let it finish downloading here. And then once it downloads, you just want to go to wherever you downloaded it. So for me, it was in my downloads folder here. And then you just want to make a folder called CC Miner. So right click wherever and then go to new and folder and then create the new folder and then name it CC Miner or whatever the case may be and then you want to drag it into there like the CC Miner software so as you see the CC Miner software is inside the folder we just made and then before you do anything else you just want to go to your start menu settings and then once you're in settings you click update and security and then once you're here you just wait for this and then you go to Windows security the virus and threat protection let it load up, manage settings, you go down to add or remove exclusions, and then just hit yes on the pop-up if it asks, and then once you're here, you click add an exclusion folder, and then you just select the CC minor folder that we did create wherever you did make it. So then you click select folder, and then it will go right into there, and it should all exclude it just because it's not a verified publisher, so that way it doesn't get nicked by Windows or anything. And then if you are using AMD, there is a software you can also use. I'm not going to like really go in depth on how to use it because I'm not an AMD miner myself, but it's SG miner and it's going to be pretty much the same thing. You're going to download this release and then you're going to follow like this tutorial and I'll post like the bat file so you can use it and use SG miner with your AMD cards. So once you did the Windows security thing, you just want to go into the CC miner folder. And then you'll just see the CC Miner itself there. And what you want to do is right click and go to new and you go to text document. And I'll post this in the description. I already have it saved. But the bat file that you're going to use is right here. And this one is for the CC Miner. So for your NVIDIA Windows. So once you do that, you copy it. And then you want to go and open your new text document. And you want to right click and paste. And once you paste it, this is going to be your bat file. So it starts CC Miner with the NeoScript Zaya algorithm. And then once you have it pasted in there, you just want to come over to zpool.ca because this is the mining pool I use and I found it's the best so far for the NeoScript Zaya algorithm. And once you're on the home page here, you want to scroll down to where it says Stratum Generator. And then whatever region you're in, you want to select it. So I just got to refresh it here. It's a little glitchy. All right, so once you're on the stratum generator, you want to go to region and then select whichever region you're in or wherever you're closest to and just look on a map if you're not sure. So North America for me. And then for the algorithm, like we said, we're going to be doing NeoScript Zaya. So make sure you select the one that has the extension for Zaya, not just NeoScript. So once you have that selected there, you just want to copy the stratum that it puts out right here for server and then colon and then it has the stratum plus tcp you want to copy it and then you want to go to the text document that you had started with the bat file and then you want to post that right here so you have the stratum url for zpool 
And then for the username, you want to post the wallet address that you're going to be mining for. So in the sake of Zpool, you can cash out in whatever currency they have listed here. So for example, we'll do Litecoin. So for the username, you want to post the wallet address for Litecoin. So I just don't have mine on this computer right now. So I'll just post that there. So for the username, you just want to post the corresponding wallet to whatever coin you're mining. And then the password will be C equals and then the coin symbol of whatever one you're get being paid out in. So for password, C equals LTC for Litecoin and then you'll have your Litecoin wallet address and then you want to make sure you have the Neoscript Zaya um, stratum URL right there. And then once you confirm you have everything set and everything's good, of course you'll have the wallet address. I'm just doing this for tutorial purposes. You just want to click file, save as, and then you want to make sure you're in your CC minor folder. And then on the drop down here for save as type, you want to go to all files. And then you want to name this whatever you want. So for my example, I'm just going to do start. But you want to make sure the extension is .bat. And that will be the batch file or bat file. And that will run CC minor so everything can run smoothly. So once you have the name and then .bat, you just want to click save. And then you're going to go back to your folder here and you're going to notice this Windows batch file. So once you notice that, you'll know you're all good so you can close this out and then you'll notice your complete folder here and you're set up and ready to go mining for Neoscript Zaya. Now this is going to be the same case for the AMD as well but the only difference is, is I'll show you here for the SG miner the command will be right here so you're going to make a batch file the exact same way but then you're going to copy this command if you're on AMD only and then you're going to make the batch file with this command. I'm not sure if you need all these extensions at the end, but like I said, I'm, I don't use AMD myself. I just wanted to input this information in case you use AMD and come across this video. But other than that, the setup is everything else is the same with the stratum, the username and the password. All that information, as you see here, will be the same. I'll post all this in the description so you can set it for whatever mining software and whatever um, actual GPUs you have. So if you're ever interested in learning about the actual Chai coin itself, I'll post a link to their website here and you can look into it. Like I said, myself, I don't directly mine it and I'm not sitting here saying to go mine it or things like that. I'm just saying if you want to learn about it because it is a gaming currency, it's a ga gaming blockchain, I believe. So if it's something you're interested in, you can directly mine this i guess you could say on zpool you'll just have to use the zap feature it's kind of a hidden feature so after on the password here let's see if i still have it so if we did c equals ltc i believe this is how you do it and then you would zap it or i forget how it's done but there's a way you can find out somehow that you can do the zap i have it in one of my videos and you can zap towards the chai coin and it will directly mine it on zpool for say and you'll be paid out just in that if this is a coin you're interested in you can learn more about it but yeah i hope this tutorial helped you guys i hope you know you become profitable with your three gigabyte graphics cards and even four gigabyte ones that are maybe on the lower end side like my mobile ones and stuff because i have a gtx 1650 like i showed at the start it's just a mobile version so this is a little easier on it and it's a little more profitable and of course for my older gtx 16 uh 1060s they're both only three gigabytes but i have two of them so it kind of makes it well worth it to run this algorithm because if I fix my one up and get them running both at like 80% power, I'll probably have well close to 2 mega hash. And who knows whatever percentage of a share on Zpool. But if you have if you have any other pools that mine this coin, just post them in the comments below. Or if you have any information or want to know any anything more about it or if you need any help, just post in the comments below and myself or someone in the community will most likely help you out. But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. I hope this tutorial helped you out. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button as it helps my channel out and lets me know you guys are enjoying these tutorials and it's helping you out. But I hope you all have an amazing day and this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.